Let's go. Welcome, my name is Jeff Rosenberg and I'm the training manager at CypherCloud. And today we're gonna to talk about encryption. We'll talk about the process of making a block cipher and how we stick those together to encrypt a longer message. Uh, so we're gonna start with some text, plain space text, place two, uh, space two, space encrypt. And I'm gonna run that through my encryption function. So to start off the process, I'm gonna need something to introduce some randomness into the process. So I'm gonna use an in, uh, initialization vector to do that, otherwise known as an IV. Now the IV is 128 bits long, and there's nothing special about it. It's just a random chunk of characters that I'm gonna be able to use to salt the process. What I wanna be able to do is to make sure when I start encrypting that I'm gonna add something to start this process off. I may have many of these blocks to create. So we kick it off with 128 bits of IV. I'm gonna be using my 256 bit symmetrical encryption key. It's gonna use the same key for decryption as well. It's the benefit of symmetric encryption. It's fast and I don't need multiple keys to do the same job. So I'm gonna encrypt and decrypt with the same key. Then I'm gonna create my block cipher. Now this part here is gonna depend on what encryption scheme that you're using. So that will sort of depend on um, uh, whether or not it's AES 256 bit or, or other things like that. So I have a, a crypto engine here creating myself a cipher text. This is gonna be 128 bits long. So I have a block cipher here. This may not be enough to encrypt my entire message. So I'm gonna to have to go and maybe create multiple ones of these. So we take another, uh, we're gonna create another block cipher. Now I'm gonna use the block cipher that I just made as the initialization vector for the second block cipher. As I have multiple block ciphers that are required, each 128 bits long, I'm going to um, use the preceding block cipher to seed the next block cipher. If I end up with a block cipher that's less than 128 bits long, I'll probably pad it so I have exactly 128 bits. I stick all of these together, I end up with one long cipher text. Now the decryption process happens in reverse. I'm gonna still need my key to do the decryption. I'm gonna take the initialization vector that I used to start this process, and I'm gonna work on the first block cipher. Once I've decrypted that block cipher, I'm gonna work on the next block cipher. I decrypt all the pieces in order, I end up with decrypted text. It's important to note that you need to decrypt each block cipher 100% in order for the process to complete. If there's any corruption in any of these block ciphers at all in the chain, it's not gonna work. And that's the encryption and decryption process in a nutshell.